Hey guys, Bob here, AKA Mr. Reef Safe. And today I'm unboxing the Inland Craft DB100 Fragging Bandsaw with Diamond Blade. In the box, you'll find the saw with the blade already attached. You might have to adjust that. You'll find the saw plate, the water reservoir, the tubes, and the nylon screws, put the plate on, and of course the instruction manual. Along with the saw and everything else you get with it, you get this handy dandy barbecue bib for cutting frags. All right, so I got it assembled. I was gonna show you that, but uh, I struggled a little bit getting the blade in place, and then I forgot to turn the camera back on, so uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna show that portion of it, but it wasn't as hard as I initially thought. I will give you a hint, read the directions before you start. If I had done that, it would have been so much easier. I would have even been able to record it, but uh, because I was trying to jump the gun and try to get things done because I thought I knew what I was doing, uh, it took longer and I eventually had to read the directions anyway. And the directions are fairly simple in this. All right, so I don't have any corals to frag at the moment, so I won't be showing that, but I hope to be doing a review on it shortly. I'm gonna be taking some base rocks, Marco rock, and cutting down, I'm gonna be trying to do my own uh, aquascape um, for a new tank. Um, one of the things I do like is that it did come with the, the apron to use. Uh, what I would have liked rather than the apron is a nice cover. It's gonna sit in my garage, and collect dust when I'm not using it, and I would have preferred to have a cover on it than an apron to wear. I can wear an old shirt, uh, uh, even some goggles would have been nice to come with it um, rather than the apron, but you know, it is what it is. You, it's nice that they included that, I just would have rather a cover or some goggles. Um, I do like that it has the reservoir on back that you put the water into. Uh, there's no more cesspool at the bottom like the older saws. Um, the reason for that is they don't want the water being reused, reused, reused as you're cutting corals. So you cut one coral, you get the next one, and the, the uh, toxins or anything that might be in the last coral is gonna get on the new coral. This is going to eliminate most of that. The reason I say most of that is because it's still going to be on the blade. Uh, it's just going to be drastically reduced. So again, I hope to do a review on this shortly. Right now my corals are ready to be, to be fragged. They will be in uh, just a few short months, at least some of them will be. And uh, as I said, I want to do a, an aquascape and I'm gonna try this to cut the rock down the way I want to. And I'll do a review on it then, tell you a little bit more about it. Until then, this is the Inland Craft BD100 Fragging Blade Saw with Diamond Blade. Fragging Band Saw with Diamond Blade. And uh, I look forward to using it. I look forward to using it on the, the dry rock. I look forward to using it on the corals. And I hope that this video at least helped in some ways. I thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment below. See you next time.